Hi, you lovely booming lot. Come and get out of the cold. Come on, come and have a look at the house. Guys, why don't we show you the kitchen first? Let me tell you a few details about the house. So this is a four-story townhouse in the centre of Fulham in central London. So what's most unusual about this property is it's got fabulous, fabulous light. This is our big entertaining space. This is where we do all of our dinner parties, all of our Sunday lunches, everything we possibly imagine is all around. There's been a lot of fun in this little bit. The house is 1,500 square foot, and this room alone is 390 square foot. Three, 391 square foot. That extra <sighs> one counts. Well, for you maybe. It's amazing because it's a big kitchen. We've got hardwood floors throughout. We've made it very neutral, but we've lifted it with accents of like great lighting and um, sort of key features like the marble worktops. We recently refurbished the entire house um, because we want to sell it and we want to make it uh, more of an adult property to go for, really. So obviously the kitchen's a hub of entertaining, so we wanted to make a breakfast bar with loads of seats around it so everyone can enjoy drinks or breakfast, it all depends what you want really. It's a very sociable kitchen and we've kept it very light, open and airy and everything's sort of accentuated by the artwork that we have. So it's kept it quite neutral so you know it's not going to affect people's taste. You absolutely did not want overhead cupboards. I think in a space like this, and you have to work with the space that you've got, we didn't want to close it all in. So we created more storage here, which keeps it a lot more open and really makes you feel the size of the room. Do you remember the kitchen before? We had all the overhead cabinets. I was looking really tired. Wasn't it, it was really strange. I remember when we first moved in, this was about this high for no reason whatsoever, and you had to kind of look over to it. It was very strange. So as you can see, this is an amazing entertaining space, and the amount of dinner parties and drinks parties, whatever we have, are it's super unusual not to have a a weekend drinks or dinner party here. I think actually as well, because the kitchen is hyper-functional, like we've got a massive hob, and then also we had the two ovens put in, didn't we? And that's why I wanted to do it, to bespoke a kitchen that really feels really lovely, a little bit country with the modern twist with there, with a little bit of nautical theme, if you can see in the lights behind me. And as you can see, candles are hugely important in the house. Now, I don't believe spending a wild amount of money on candles, so I bought 26 of them this morning from Home Bargains in Twickenham. For 2 a candle? Bargain. It's just such, such good value. Okay, let me show you one more thing. Now, this was Gareth's idea. We had downstairs where we've only got one slim window, so what we did, we added some more space here by putting a glass panel on the floor. And by doing that, we've got lots of light going downstairs. We've taken away the chunkiness where we had wooden banisters before and made it all quite sleek. And the dog seems to have pissed on the glass. I think something that's really important to get our sort of personality across is it's accentuating the house with art. So this is a, an art piece I bought years ago from an Alabama artist. And I bought it on a first date, thinking about it now, slightly elaborate. To go with the whole marine theme and the kind of uh, nautical theme, we kind of add in some Slim Aaron's prints, which are kind of obviously Monaco in the 70s. This side, we've got some Palm Springs art from Slim Aaron's as well. And I don't think any kitchen is worth its salt without a picture of Joanne Lumley. Okay, let me show you the smart valve thing. Oh, this is the valuation thing you're talking about? Yeah, it's banging. Cool. So this smart valve, basically the only problem with having your house being valuated at the moment is you've got so many emails, so many estate agents, who do you choose? But what you can do, type in our postcode and within 15 minutes you'll get a valuation. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's asking us to do four really prominent features. So we have a balcony, we have... We've fully refurbished it recently. Fully refurbished. Um, a large swimming pool. Large kitchen. We've got a large kitchen. I wish we had a large swimming pool. That might be the yeah, next time. And a sea view would be lovely. A sea view would be absolutely heaven. Recent, so excellent. Modernized. It's modernised. It's got a garden. It's bathroom conditions great. Garage enormous. Okay. And suddenly what's going to happen within 15 minutes, it's going to tell you the estate agents are going to get hold of you and tell you exactly how much they think that your property is worth. Okay, accept it and here's the countdown. 14 oh minutes and 59 seconds. Here That's we go. That's amazing. Now let's make a cup of tea. We'll come back in a minute and we'll see what happens. I'm so impatient. This is brilliant for me. I would this like to go to a full incredible. bedroom afterwards though. That's what we need to go to. If we're, yeah. we're going to sell, we need to go to a full bedroom. Well, we can use Booming to find a new house as well. Yeah, of course. We didn't actually put any card details in. No. Do we have to pay for this? No, no. It's free. Is it free? Completely free. Oh, amazing. We've got an expectation of what we want, but I wonder if it's going to be actually near what we think. Well, I hope we... <laughs> There's three estate agents, so essentially there could be, there's got three different valuations when I come back. Guys, there's one ready. Is it already? Yeah. It's not one been 15 ready. minutes yet. Okay. So okay. we've got the first quotation back already, and it's only been three minutes. Okay. Right, right. First one's back. Yep. Let's view SmartVal. 
Oh, very happy with that. That's exactly where it should be. Yeah, it really should be. Wow, that's, I'm amazed by that because we haven't actually had to put in loads and loads of detail. Yeah, I'm, that's exactly where it should be and it says minimum actually what it's on for at the moment. Wow, brilliant. Yeah. That's actually that's, really good. I'm actually really impressed with that. Oh, look, another one's just coming. Oh yeah, okay, so let's have a look. Five minutes. I think what's great is because they're going to give us a range, like none of them are going to be exactly the same, I can't imagine, and they're just slight variations of each other, but it'd be interesting to speak to them because then you can find out why they're valued if what they have. Okay, so all three of them are back now within 15 minutes. This one, that's the one I'm loving at the moment, but they've all come back with really, really good valuation. That's exactly what we expected as well, don't you think? Yeah. I'm actually surprised by how good this, this is. This is the one I would love. You just pick the biggest number. Well, it's a good number. <laughs> So here's what I think we should do. Let's start from the very, very top of the roof terrace and then make our way back down. Yeah, we should just up another couple of floors. Come upstairs with us. Enjoy. So this is our master bedroom and just like the other bits of the house, this is absolutely covered in windows. Um, we're at the very, very top of the house and we can look over all to the London Eye, the Shard, the BT Tower, all over London. I yeah. think this is probably my favorite room to do when we did the refurb because we really knocked everything out, created loads of space, got this bath that we had put in. If you ever want a bath in your bedroom, think again, because we've probably used it twice. And, and basically it's used as a laundry bin. It is, so. it is a crowd pleaser though, because whenever anyone comes around, they're like, oh my God, you've got a bath in your bedroom. People love it, but- um, You never that, use it. Do you use it a lot? <laughs> no, actually we don't at all, actually really. But it looks fantastic. So interestingly, we actually had a built-in cupboard here because of the height restriction on the stairs. We've had all that knocked out and brought down to the floor. And because all the space wasn't there before, the bed actually used to be over in this corner, which I absolutely hated, didn't I? Yeah. But as you can see, we've also brought the nautical theme upstairs. So we've got the fish paintings, we've got a commission of Cornwall there. And as you wake up, you kind of go, oh, it's by the seaside, but nowhere near. Every now and then you get a squawk of a, of a large sea rat. So luckily with all the doors leading out on there, not only do you get a wonderful area to kind of sit out and have barbecues, you get the last light of the evening, which is wonderful for evening dinner parties. Why don't we stop talking about it? We'll actually show you the view outside. Come on, Come on. join us. So this is our roof terrace and outside here we have the whole of London to look over. This is actually one of the features that we put into the smart valve valuation. Yeah, it is and it probably boosts it quite highly because finding outside space in a central London property is quite difficult. And luckily there's a secret because although you've got this bit you can see right now, it all goes round the side of the property. So I can entertain here, Gareth can entertain there. We don't have to see each other at all. It's very nice. It helps life. I think it's fantastic because you do get a lot of the light in this room and it's perfect in the summers for the late evenings and it also makes you really cosy in the winter. Yeah, super, super, super cosy. And also when it rains, it's fabulous because all the windows and you get all that marvellous like yeah. thunderstorms. And Being in the middle of a storm. Over London. That is quite fabulous unless you're a chihuahua who do not like that very much. <laughs> do you? <laughs> I love you too. Why don't we go and show them our favourite guest room? Let's go have a look. Come on. So I think this is actually one of my favourite rooms in the house. This is one of our spare rooms. It was we, originally going to be our nursery. It was originally going to be the nursery before we decided to sell. However, it's got the, the calmest, loveliest energy about it. It's got a really good feeling about the whole house. Again, loads and loads of windows. So now, we've made it into a lovely spare um, We've made it into a room. spare room. We've had these all put in, these wardrobes all beautifully done um, in Harrogate. Um, this is interesting because this is actually our baby changing area. No one's ever seen this yet. Um, so this will be a baby that we are taking this with us as we are this chest because they are going to be in the nursery in the next house. Just quickly, my dear friend Sarah Jessica Parker decided to write lovely bits to me, so that's just a name drop, because <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Anyway, come join downstairs. So as we go downstairs, this is the lower ground part of the house. This is a bit of a weird one, because it's basically a bit of a bachelor pad now. It's still the last bit of the kind of It's probably our red wine drinking room. This is more of a winter room, certainly. Upstairs seems to be more summery, more airy. This is kind of where you can sit there with popcorn and friends and chatting with loads of red wine. That's exactly what we do anyway. It's great to watch film as well, because you've got the farron ball, the, the downpipe on the walls. It's really cosy, really dark, just a real juxtaposition to the rest of the house. And also we have a utility room that kind of wraps around the whole of the back of this wall. So we've got kind of a space to put in towels and all that kind of stuff with the washer machine, double dry, all that. We've also got a downstairs loo with a shower. Also, one of the most important things when we did the refurb was all the storage. So we had this custom built by Harrogate Wardrobes who put in massive storage underneath, 75 centimetres deep. So all that other bits of storage we lost around the house, we made up by doing stuff like this. So although this feels a little bit like five years ago when we were sort of more bachelory, 
laddie, if you will. Um, I like to think that in the next five years, it will be very much to do with family. And so I want to show you something with Boomin that uh, you're probably going to like very much. Okay, have it. That's it. Okay, so they've got something called the Property Playground. So if we type in something like, so dream, plan, save, share, or buy, what is Nursery. It? Yeah. Then what it's going to show me is it's inspiration behind the oh, entire wow. nurseries. Look, look, look. Yeah. All of this. And also, if I was to click on one of them, you can then go to professionals that could help make it for you, be the architect behind it, be the interior designer behind it. Oh, so it concept. all links together. It just links straight to the way you can buy it. From. Absolutely. Oh, that's incredible. So yeah, giving you access to not only see all this inspiration, but also to get the professional round to your house to be able to create this. It's really clever because you've got all the budget filters and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, so you absolutely. pick right down. And also colour. So if you've got an interior like, scheme. Yeah. What way are we going to have the nursery now? Well, we're, I think... we a nautical theme. Yeah, I, I, I want it under the sea. Rainbow unicorn. That could be for your bathroom. <laughs> Please. This is cool. I like this. Look at this. <coughs> the whale. Whale, whale, whale nursery. nursery. Look at that. Not you can find your estate agent. You can find your interior designer, your architect, everything in one place. So it literally takes you through all the steps. You all sell steps. your home, you find your new home, and then you redesign and it. And then you can redesign it completely. That's so cool. This has got me so excited about moving house now. I know, and I love the idea that we've got all the inspiration in front of us and then you've got the access to professionals as well. I think it's really smart that you just click through and you get in touch with people in your area. I know, right? It's really smart. Guys, thank you for sharing this wonderful open house with us. Uh, we hope you're really, really well and, uh, and we'll see you very soon, hopefully, in another house. Cheers, guys. Take care.